guys, so it's currently a Wednesday night and I'm down here at the crossing, as you can see. Um, you can't really see much of the signals other than obviously the reflective parts, aka the railway sign um, and all the signs here. But I mean, I think you can just see the lights there. And you can now when I look from the side. But it looks actually quite really cool in the dark, um, as you'll see if I walk back a bit um, so you can see the full signals. It looks pretty cool, but we're going to be having a Melbourne to Sydney freighter um, obviously coming from Melbourne down near where that red light is um, in a couple of minutes, so uh, here we go. Alrighty guys, so um, I've just seen the freighter pop over the hill down the end there, you can sort of see the haze of the white light and there's a slight brightness which will uh, get very bright in a couple of seconds but uh, he's just come over the hill, oh there we go and uh, he's going to be passing here any minute Crossing's gonna activate any minute, guys. You can see the train's very close. Bruh. Signals look pretty nice at night, as you can see. He's coming. We have, let's see, in our 41, we've got a TT, double T, triple one. There we go! He flew through here! Considering he slowed down at Beveridge and Donnybrook, um, I'm not sure why he slowed down at Beveridge, they don't usually do that, but uh, he flew through the crossing. There we go guys, 4 MS7, heading through Wallen on a late night around 8pm. There we go.